What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Hitman 3. Old Habits. Oh, she's gone. What? I found something. Oh. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Mm. Trail ends at the airport, but... Turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Oh, so it's not a trap. Is this me? part of her plan? You don't Or maybe her. it's not. I don't know. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Mm. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. Oh, well, at least Olivia got out clean. You won't. <laughs> nice. So we're at the vineyard, huh? So the question is, is, is it a double cross or isn't it? Because maybe she is just playing the constant and she's still on 47's team. But then again, that info that the constant gave her about 47 killing her parents may have actually been enough to turn her against him. Ah, it's interesting. I don't know who's on whose side anymore. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Oh, ah, we're straight in. I suppose no briefing, because Diana usually Definitely gives the briefings. She's not with us anymore. That makes sense. And Olivia's not with us either, so no briefing. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I'm used to a briefing. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. Ah, oh, he is that the briefing. Was the cool. was the legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Mm. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Yeah, She's never. I got you an invitation, just like old times. Like shown physical affection. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, forty-seven. Okay. Maybe she is playing him, because she's never done that sort of thing before. At least not that I've seen. I'm so confused. Hmm. All right. Well, we're just gonna go along with it. So we'll head on down. All right. Here you go, sir. Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Oh, I will. I will indeed. Oh, this is classic. This is very James Bondy this moment. Huh. Thank you. So, you must know everything that goes on at the event. <laughs> Care to give me the lowdown? Let's see. Most of the guests have already arrived, and let me tell you, it's like a Forbes 500 convention in there. <laughs> Most are high-profile clients of Morgan, Yates and Korn, but the Yates are still no shows. Ah. Word is, they're still up at the house. They haven't made an entrance yet. Curious. Oh, how are you talking with that wine in your mouth? <laughs> You're amazing, 47. This, but word is that Yates was in a great mood this morning. But that all changed when the letter arrived. Hmm. The letter? Yeah. 
an honest to God letter delivered by courier. I mean, who writes letters anymore? Anyway, it must have been bad news because Senor Yates heard the plant off the balcony. Big heavy one too. It almost hit Isabel, one of the maids who had to go lie down. Oh, wow. Anything else? The party is not the only thing happening at the estate. Someone said something that upset him. Hmm. Forgets too. You should check it out if you're interested in what they do. It's harvest season after all. I might just do that. Thank you for your time, miss. Right. Pleasant evening, senor. Why, thank you. I will bid you adieu, mademoiselle. Wow, this is fancy as hell, and the music is awesome. Well, some stairs up there. I guess we just make our way in through the front door, shall we? It's the damnedest thing, to be sure, like a golden age detective novel. First, an old money aristocrat dies, who just happens to control him. Tamara Vidal, I'm here for the tourist. Oh. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal, that's the one. Apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther? Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on you. Yes. You know what? I don't think much is happening there. Let's go up these stairs. This music is so good. I don't know where I've heard it before, but I've definitely heard it. Oh no, that's going to get copywritten, isn't it? Yeah, most likely. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm not even monetized yet. I don't care. <laughs> Hello, ladies. This is the... Oh, that's the entrance to the house. And this is where what? The food is? Look at that. That looks wonderful. This whole place looks wonderful. Didn't you, Pablo? What did Pablo do? I didn't do this. Why do you <laughs> have to be such a baby all the time? Mr. Yates' gates are waiting. What are we supposed to tell him? That dinner is late because the Yosa brothers forgot the torch for the damn asado pit? It's just a Aren't stupid you... torch. I'm sure some of you guys have a lighter. Do you need it's a traditional. torch? traditional. Look. I'm not gonna explain it to you, little. Just find another torch. Don't care how. Before we're a laughing stock. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Well, Tradition and all that. Never understand. All right. Well, that's interesting. So, what to get this whole thing started? I have to. What? Bring a torch down here and light that shit on fire. And then what? He'll come down. I suppose it's easier than me going to him. Let's just follow this guy. Will he bring the torch back down? Come on. Head up. I'm waiting for you. Let's see what happens. Up you go. Is it Pablo? This is the one, isn't it? This is Pablo. Damn, Pablo, you climb stairs slow. Here comes Diana and Vidal. Yeah, I see you, Diana. Yeah, he's getting frisked. So, uh, yeah, I knew it. I'm not going to be able to get up there. Yeesh. And chances are I'm not actually allowed up there anyway. I'm not, uh, like, an important, you know, guest or anything. So I think they're going to be like, who the hell are you? No. All right, what about the other stairs? Can I get up? Let's see. Ooh, nope. Guards at that side, too. However, they're being allowed in, aren't they? So let's grab this guy, take his uniform, and I might be allowed up there. I'm just going to drop my gun. Alright. You're going to love this. Even on grass, the coin's like, ting, ting, ting. <laughs> I love it. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Alright, sneak around. Come on. Yes. Really? Here we go. Give me your uniform. 
I need to get up there and see if Pablo's found that torch. Maybe I'll have to dress up as Pablo. That'd be weird, though. Again, if a brother couldn't recognize their own brother, <laughs> like, you'd be like, really? <laughs> Alright, conceal item. In you go. Don't need you. Now, hopefully, I'll be allowed up as I am considered part of the help. Hola! You want to pass? Yes, please. I check your pockets. Of course. That's not up for discussion. I know. Come on. You Let sure me. you don't got something on you? No, I'm clean, Nothing dude. Nothing gets past me. You better tell me. <laughs> I'm clean, bro. Let me through. Okay. You are good to go. Thank you. All right. Let's have a look what's going on in this house, hey? Maybe I can just straight up kill him while I'm here. And then I gotta figure out how to get rid of Videl. Hey. Which would probably be the harder one, now that I think about it. Because if he's just up here by himself, that'll be quick and easy. But getting rid of her might be a lot harder. Up we go. Ha ha. Oh. Oh. I think I dropped in the wrong route. You know what? I think it's quick and easy. Battery low. Damn it. go okay and come in this guy looks important however he is this got a unique outfit come on oh he's the lawyer disguised as lawyer hmm. I could probably get away with that outfit too he's bald I'm bald Everybody knows bald people all look alike. <laughs> hmm. Disguise as mercenary? Just, you know, that way when I'm walking around, it's not too suspicious. Alright. What are we dealing with here? Upstairs? Is he upstairs in his room? Nope. Empty. Huh. Where is he? Das is a good question. Hello, car keys. Well, at least now he can't escape. <laughs> the keys to Yates' car, yep. And the bathroom. No one's in the bathroom, of course. Oh! Lethal poison! Handy. And we have a ladder. Boom! Up we go. Huh. This is one. Ooh, Imatic Rat Poison. This is a huge attic. This must be where, uh. I don't know, he paints? And he keeps all this cool stuff. Random TV up here to watch his porn. <laughs> Cannonball? Should I take a cannonball? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> just just in case. Grab grab all of them. <laughs> Those would be so heavy. <laughs> He's just like carrying them around like they're nothing. Okay, what are these over here? Gunpowder! Oh! So can I actually like load up a cannon? That'd be, that'd be hilarious. What a way to freaking kill someone. Yeah, it's very inconspicuous. Just boom, and everyone looks at you. And you're like, it was an accident, I swear. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just, I, I lit the fuse and then, yeah. Who would have thought? All right, well, at least we know where his bedroom is now. What's that calendar? Okay. Oh, uh, hey, ma'am. Uh, I'm just looking for a... Oh. Get down! Come here! Ah, I feel bad. <laughs> Why'd you have to come upstairs? Should he just chilled? <laughs> Is this his missus? I think I just demolished his missus. Oh well, she'll be alright. <laughs> she'll be fine. <laughs> I 
Okay. There's no sign of him, though. That's a weird... Like... Huh. I thought he was up here. Guess not. Unless he's... I don't know, somewhere secret? Let's drop down there. What do you see? A monster? Revolutionary? Fanatic? Violent? Who's talking? Ah, doesn't matter. There's the, the kitchen maids. There's a beautiful lake. Don't you remember? No it's sign of Don Yates. One of those whatever gates. Doesn't ring a bell. Don't. Where are you at, Yates? Where are you at? That's Pablo. Huh. Oh, torches! Is that the torches? Pablo, what are you doing? This torch is right there, mate. Jesus. Useless. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get my waiter's outfit on. I'm gonna grab one of those torches while Pablo's just dicking about. And I'll go start the event. <laughs> get Yates out here. Hopefully he won't be suspicious where his wife went. If that was his wife. I'm assuming so. Very nicely dressed woman in this area. There we go. Not the lawyer outfit. Because otherwise, you'd think that if she was a guest, she'd be downstairs. Not down- well, yeah, technically downstairs. In the courtyard. You get what I'm saying. Wow, this is beautiful landscape. Where are we? We must be in Spain, huh? This is Spain. Because Spain makes good wine. I should have paid more attention. <laughs> Oh shit! That's the cannon! Oh my god, I can actually load a cannon! I have all the ingredients to do this! Put the gunpowder in, yeah? He doesn't seem to care. Put the... <laughs> Put the cannonball in! No way! I just have to wait till Don Yates shows up. I can just blow him away! That's hilarious! Way too much noise though, like that's so obvious. Hey Pablo, torches are over here, buddy. Well, I am gonna do this. Big fan, Senor Sosa. I must have streamed all fourteen seasons of your show. I really? You just you just where you cooked barbecue on the international Wow. Okay. I thought that you'd be taking this more seriously, but no, you're just gonna let fans distract you from your very very important event. If you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Hungry mouths to feed. No, 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 no. Don't go yet. Oh. Give us some highlights from your career. What's in the van? I especially... Yo, Pablo, you know you got shit to do, man. There's nothing in the van. Alright, okay. Fuck it. I'm taking the torch. Screw you, Pablo. You're taking too long. We got shit to do. <laughs> your brother's down there probably stressing out. And you're up here dicking about. Scuzzy. I don't know why I said scusi. I'm like using all these different European terms and none of them are Spanish. I think the only thing that I've said so far that is accurate is hola. <laughs> I got the torch. What do you want me to do with it? Hello? I got the torch. Yes, me. Alright, fuck it. Can I light it myself? Yes, I can. Ignite. Ignite. Woo. That is some dry wood. I see, perfecto. That looks awesome. Wow. Just like smoked, beautifully cooked meat. Mm. Okay, uh, hey Diana. I got a torch. What do I do with it? <laughs> what do I do with this torch? <laughs> I'm worried if I drop it somewhere, it's gonna start a fire. <laughs> hey Pablo, you asshole. Yeah, I lit it for you. Piece of shit. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> Hello. I have to give you a bad down uh, if you okay. want to come oh. through here. Oh, never mind. Zero. You can just put the flame away. <laughs> Do you like that spice stuff, senor? Like Bond and Mission Impossible. Sure you. Do. Everybody loves that shit. Oh shit, here comes Don Yates now. Okay, you're good to go. Bonk Where the hell were you? I was just looking for you. Hopefully he doesn't get too concerned about his wife. Maybe I can put the torch back. And put the torch back. No, I can't. I'm just going to drop it behind the van. Fuck it. Fuck your van. Is Yates going to go down, or is he still... Maybe... Oh, he could actually legitimately be waiting for his wife. But I do have this shot lined up. Never mind, he's left. Damn it. 
I was just thinking maybe it's worth it. <laughs> just boom and then run. But then I'd have to figure out how to take care of Videl. Would have been bad timing. Maybe if I'd taken Videl out first, I could have done that, actually. Because then that would have been a good way to just finish him. Just bang! Did I pass your test? All right. Uh, now I'm guessing it's the best I wait till his expected. meal is served and then I poison it? And then we'll see what happens. Because I could lethal poison it, but then my fear is, is that Videl will go into lockdown or something will happen to Diana because they do, I think, suspect hey, her to a certain degree. Because before they said that she wouldn't let Diana out of her sight, Ambassador. like she never leaves so her nice side. Which to me would indicate they don't fully trust Diana. And I don't want something bad to happen if I lethally poison him straight away. So maybe we'll use the Ematic. What is that? Ah. Oh, whoa, sunroof. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I might just Ematic Rat poison him. And see where he goes. And then maybe I can take him out quietly. Because yeah, my fear is if I lethal poison, she's going to go into lockdown. And it's going to be way harder to get to her. Like really, really hard. Excuse me, sir, if I can have everyone's attention, please. Yes. So, here is a question. What did Milton Friedman, Ayn Rand, and Ronald Reagan all have to say about retirement? Ah. As far as I am aware, not a damn thing. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's amazing. Is the most exciting of life stages, but it is the most terrifying. What? Because yes. the proverbial golf course Already? is the last stop before the moor? Call our supplier in town. Why not? If anything, we are larger in death. Death holds no fear for the great, the accomplished. No, my friends. Oh, those are the meals? not the death of Don Yates, but the death of Don Yates' attorney in law. The disintegration of the professional self. All right, wrap it up. Retirement is Let's eat. <laughs> an existential void, and that is why I am retiring. It is the final frontier, the ultimate rite of passage. It is an abyss into which I must gaze. Is that it? You good? Oh. Thanks to still my going. beautiful wife, Valentina. I am a man with a hobby. And I intend to make the most of it. So drink my wine. Eat and rejoice in the knowledge that no matter how high you ascend, how much you accomplish, the greatest fight Get ahead. Thank you all, and welcome. Yay! Now let's On eat. On behalf of our asado chefs, the wonderful Yosa brothers, I am delighted to tell you that asado is that a type of food? Bon appetit. Is that like just grilled meats? Because I would love asado. <laughs> all about that. Just like a delicious barbecue. I'm gonna look that up now. Okay. Holy crap! Look at that guard next to him. Oh, I can fuck with the microphone. I could have done what um, I think is an option in the second game where you can fuck with the rock star. That would be interesting. Oh, it's my dad. Como esta, senor? Oh, uh, uh, hola? Oof. Como estas? Como estas? I thought como estas was something else. Como estas? Como, como estas? I don't know. Not sure. Good. Oh, oh, he's eating. That's his meal. Did I just miss my opportunity? No, surely he'll come back and eat more. Look at all this delicious food. He has to eat more. Stand up and then come back to your meal, please. I have a shot here. I just need to wait for him to leave the table. How can I get him to leave the table? Oh, never mind. He's off. Yeah, take a wander. Stretch your legs. Your meal will be waiting for you. Ah, oh, damn it. I meant away from the table, not just stand up and look at it. It's not a piece of art. I mean, technically it could be, could be delicious and wonderfully presented. What is that? You want salt? Sure thing. I got salt for you. Plenty of it. Lots and lots of salt. Mmm. Delicious. It'll be waiting for you. Looking younger every time. Okay, now I just gotta hope he goes back to it. <laughs> and hope no one takes it away. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, 
Ma'am, would you need a refill at all? Yes, go back and eat that shit. No, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> oh, Diana! Hey, what are you doing? No, not good. Come on, eat that shit. Eat that shit. Eat that shit and go to the toilet so I can kill you. Kill you in the toilet. Where many great men have met their maker. In the toilet. And a good day to you. Yeah, and you too. Yeah. Slavery. Yes. Go toilet. What's going on? Yes! I feel horrible. Go toilet, go toilet, go toilet. Huh? So looking forward to the buffet. Yeah, the Go toilet. Wait, where are you going? That's not the toilet. No. No. Really, dude? Really? You have yes. You're just gonna throw up over the balcony. Am I? Can I grab him from here? Can I? Oh shit! Is he? Don't tell me that guard is coming here. God. <sighs> Makes sense. He's a very important guy, I guess. Great. So I can't actually get him from here. I've just made this much harder on myself. Ah. <sighs> really? Well, I don't know what to do now. Diana, got any plans? Diana, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Get out of my way, Fidel. Diana, Diana, talk to me. I need your help. Uh, he's throwing up over the balcony, and I don't know what to do. Diana, don't walk away from me, goddammit! <laughs> ah! What do I do? Is he done throwing up? What, is, what am I supposed to do now? Do, oh, maybe I just gotta, like, lethal poison him, and while she's en route to lockdown, kill Videl. That might be the only option. And that's if he decides to even have another bite of his meal. Because he might just be like, fuck that shit, I just threw up violently. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. I got nothing. Nothing. Oh, hang on. Is something about to happen? Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. Yo, dude, can you not stand so close to Diana like that? That's kind of weird. Say, like all well, up in a shit. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get together up at the house. It's a trap. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald. Once the training wheels are off. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way. Into the lion's den. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin. I bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, right. Chief. Crap, that's not good. That's really not good. I've got a feeling that they've got like a murder room set up to kill Diana in. Okay, well... Shit. <laughs> um... You know what, I'm gonna follow the security guard. I'm gonna get dressed up as the Somule... Somule... I can never pronounce that word, Somule. Oh, what is that? More rat poison! Okay, good stuff. Um because he's going to where they're going, right? So if I get dressed up as the Somil, Som, Somil, blah, 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 and uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get up to where that meeting is, because I'm guessing that, you know, where that toast is happening is where they're probably going to kill her, because that's what they do in all these types of, like, movies and stuff. It's like, and then we shall toast, and then I will shoot her in the face. So follow this guy. I could probably pass as that guy, actually. He looks just like 47 if 47 was wearing that outfit. Like, literally carbon copy. Like, it's ridiculous, actually, how much these two look alike. Okay, where are we? Oh, here we go. The wine room. Technically, this whole place is a wine room, but this must be, like, the special super-duper stuff. 
There's ah, like a hole in the floor there. Yeah, see? That's weird. Oh. Whoa! Okay. Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin Yeesh, brought up that to the house. Of me. Special occasion. What? What did aliens land on the front door? <laughs> Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look so it up, shame on you. Was that 1945? 1946. Oh, well, he's... Do I follow him, or do I... No, I need the wine. I need the wine. Maybe I can... No, I'll, I'll go in there, I'll get that guy's outfit, and I'll get the wine. Right? Because with that... Like, they're expecting the sommel... Som sommelier... With the wine up there. So I'm guessing even if I just have to go up the stairs like normal... I can... You know, get in. But how do I get in? The hatch? Is there a way in through here? Ha! Ah! Yes. There's always a way. What? Encryption key needed. Do I not have it? What kind of bullshit is that? What? How do I get in? So shit. How do I get in? Encryption key needed. Is there anything around here? No? Maybe I should check. You never know. I mean, turn off. No. What is this? Rat poison. I've already got rat poison, but it's always handy to have more. Usually there's like near the thing that you want to get to or whatever, there's usually like a second or at least something near that can help. Fuse cell. I don't think that's going to help, but uh, maybe, maybe somewhere around here I'll find something. So. Poison. No. I may just have to, like, I don't know, somehow try to get in, like, walk in. But I don't think it's going to be that easy. Like, he didn't even let the security guard in. There must be a way. Unlock. Oh, I can use a screwdriver. I was... <sighs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Damn. The nineteen forty-five Grand Paladin. It is perfection. Oh, nineteen forty-five Grand Paladin. You don't drink the nineteen forty-five Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shot. Isn't nineteen forty-five also? I swear, nineteen forty-five is also the year World War Two ended. Or was it nineteen forty-six? I'm gonna guess it is 1945 because that I think that would be the coincidence you know what I mean like it's like the the, the year of the wine is 1945 the year war to end it is also 1945 I'm going to guess how did he get his hands on I hear the last of the 45s were sold to Sheikh Omar al Ghazali for six hundred thousand dollars shit most expensive bottle ever sold. More than half a uh, freaking million uh, for a bottle of wine. See, that bottle you refer to came from a case of 12, which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle shipping container that went down in the South China Sea. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think there's any wine that is worth more than half a million dollars. Like, I don't think there's any wine that's worth more than like $10,000, like rightfully. While the other... Come here. Ooh. Oh, that killed him? I thought that was just going to knock him out. My bad, dude. Wow, I don't think... I'll be honest, I really didn't think you deserved to die. I'm sorry. That was supposed to just knock you unconscious. 
Oops. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a panel pocket. Blacking out the windows first. Now I can deal with you. I didn't want everyone to see me choking you out. I don't know how abusive your mentor is, but he's probably not that abusive. Okay. It's a vintage year. 1945, I'm gonna guess. The year World War II ended, it's a vintage year. I mean, what what better one than this one they were just describing? Yeah! It is 1945, okay. I knew it was one of them, 1945 or 1946. Give me that. Okay, now I guess I just walk up the stairs. And hopefully, no trouble starts. Hopefully no one sees that body there. Maybe I should move him. Nah, screw it. Alright, hey, now flowers. we go. Oh, Over here. Come on. I'm young. Flowers. Oh, you're back. Okay. Are you going to take me there? Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Wow, this huh. guy's useless. He just Somehow spoke to the dude. You can't tell the difference? Bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Okay, lead the way. Uh, where are you going? Oh, oh, it's a secret door. Never mind. I was like, uh, that's a barrel of wine, dude. <laughs> Look at this guy's pants. What? Isn't that the kind of pants that they wear to, like, go horseback riding or some shit? I can't. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all oh, those shots CEOs getting Do I have off? to get patted down? I need to search you. If oh, you good. I was like, I was thinking to myself, do I have anything on me? They stopped twitching. You're not making my life easy here. Well, fucking make it sound so easy. I've got a bottle of wine hidden somewhere on me. Okay, I just man. put it away somehow. Vamos. All right, let's go. Also, who? Hold yeah, I was gonna say, did you see how he was holding that bottle of wine for a second? He's like holding it like he's gonna hit someone. So here's the deal, flowers. Uh huh. This is having a powwow with some employees. Discretion is the name of the game. Alrighty. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Yep. Don't discuss, disclose. You're getting quieter, are you keeping up? Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. Oh. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be down there. Flowers. <laughs> Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. There we go. Good man. Okay, let's do this. Get me into this secret meeting room. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decan. Okay. Pardon me, your <laughs> majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of pride. I love that 47 is like so educated and like trained reliable. in so many different weird things. Like he can apparently prepare ah, a Chinese meal. Gentlemen. He, he knows Flowers, everything about wine. President Sommelier. I believe he has brought us something... Decan. <laughs> special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. Oh, oh crap! You better this pull some shit out of your ass. Is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence? Oh, true. I did just the hear that whole conversation, though. So that's enough. He could probably, unicorn wine. You know, talk some shit. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. I don't only think they told us that bit. How do you know all this? Produced. When the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors <laughs> and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank In other you, words, it's wine. Feel free to stick around <laughs> in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art okay, Society. Okay, I'll stand somewhere where I can get a bit of legal room and a better clear shot at you when I need to take it. Draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. Right here. We are but a few, right, and yet go. together we are unstoppable. I can poison it because we stand. Probably not in front of everyone, though. My friends, One, two, loyalty is everything. Oh, sorry. I'm in your way. We cannot One, two, three. Into our ranks. Okay. Uh, here it comes. I this moment is four, bloody war five, 
five More gods in this room. That's a lot of guys to deal with. Death. Six. Six Your guys. Holy shit. And clients, my friend. Seven as Ken well, Morgan. I think. Not to mention the partners themselves. <laughs> our founders. Our benefactors. Make no mistake. This woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? She does that sound Diana? like loyalty? Absolutely. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent yeah, when he, he is. sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. Yeah, you and tell following him. this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. You're lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. This is going to end badly. Our heralds sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including I gotta get ready. Ones. I have devised a screwdriver. Together we can make it work. But you have to decide now, my friends. If he gives the word, I'm going to throw the screwdriver, take out the guard to my right, take his gun, and yes. just try and shoot yes, everyone. Listen to yourselves. Don Yate is not even appointed constant. Oh, Videl's sticking and up for he can Diana. His master. Wow. I don't oh, true. To understand him. Maybe not for Diana, but she's sticking up for but the constant. But I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. Stand down now or share her fate. Edwards. We'll hear about this. I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Mr. Cortazar? What? Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't have to kill- Oh! Right. Move it. Let's go. Okay. I'm warning you, Yates. What is happening? This will not go your way. I don't have to kill Videl. She's already been taken care of. And I now have to save Diana and kill this asshole. How are you? Ah, this is bad. We need to get our story I think straight. I stepped into it. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of... Ten minutes. Agent 47. Tamara Vidal, who saw through the assassin's disguise, was, alas, killed as well. This is what you will all... I can't see. kill him here. Yes. There's way too many people. Yes. I agree. A toast, then, in her honor. Savor the taste because I've you... I've got to see if there's an end. opportunity, though. And let me remind you. And then I can go save Diana. Together. One goes down. We all go down. Here's to loyalty. To loyalty. Uh, ironic, considering you just killed one of your own. Um, shit. I don't think there's a moment here. Oh, here they go. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right, off they go. Are you guys leaving? You guys should leave too, so I can kill your boss. Everyone's leaving. The guards are not leaving. Balancina. Crap. Crap. It worked. Yes, they all back my plan. Your plan. Cortazar will dispose of Burnwood, and Corvo is staying- Is Valentina and his seat. wife? With all Man, your wife's unconscious in a wardrobe upstairs. How are you having Edwards this conversation? <laughs> Here we go. Upstairs, he said, didn't he? I think he said, yeah, bring her upstairs. Hopefully she's not in one of those rooms. I better check. Better quickly double check. Anyone in here? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, Diana, where you at, girl? No, not in here. Yeah, she is upstairs. Okay, she's in the bedroom. Coming, I'm coming. Hey! Don't do it, man. Oh. Come on! Off. Quick! Clear the floor and get yourself a guard. I'm moving quick. I'm moving Gates quick. Don't worry. 
Alright, clear the floor. Gotcha. I'm moving, Diana. You could help me, you know. Give me that outfit. Alright. Give me this. And also, did she say Yates won't be long? Is Yates coming up here? Fuck, I could have moved quick then. Oh shit, he does have a whole kill floor ready. Alright. This looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? If that's his missus, she's knocked out in the wardrobe. Unless he was talking to someone else. I'm not sure. I can't remember who Valentina is. Give me that axe. Drop that right here. Just in case I need it later. Um, okay, floor's clear. Floor's... Unless... Do you want me to take out the guys on the balcony too? Uh, do we have time for that? She doesn't look impressed. No? Alright, I'm guessing she wants me to actually, like, take out everyone. Maybe if I stand here, I can release the wench when he comes through. No? Do I actually have to take out the guys on the balcony too? Really? Why? Let's go see if he's coming. Maybe he's coming around the corner. No? Where is he? Maybe I do actually have to clear, like, everyone. Like, including the people in the balcony. Fuck it. Let's do it. Come here. Why? Because, you know, your boss is a bad man. <laughs> He's a very, very bad man. He just committed murder downstairs. <laughs> yes, box. Put him in the box. In you go! Alright. Is that it? No? Still not happy. Okay, out here? Is there someone out here? Of course there is. Oh. Alright. Now let's go. Come here! Go to sleep. Alright, I'm guessing I'm putting you in the box as well. Is he coming? No, nope. still got time, still got time. Quickly. Quick, 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 quick. I'm hoping this is a trigger event so he won't actually come up till Diana says something. Because otherwise I'm going to get caught red-handed. Here we go. Alright, done. We're good, right? Now? Yes, we're good. Alright. I'll just quickly grab some stuff, because I think I saw a combat knife out here. <laughs> yeah, give me that gun first. Just in case. Give me that combat knife, fuck yeah. Alright, now we'll talk to Diana, and hopefully he'll come up. Good. I was beginning to worry. Yeah, me too. You weren't talking. No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. <laughs> so, As all good villains. Private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. No problem. We'll get this done. Here? No? I want to sit by the wench. Alright, never mind. Sitting here. She's gonna stab him. Whew. Alright, getting kinda nervous. <laughs> I hope I don't miss my shot. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping a crime scene. Like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Oh, and Corvo. Make it for two. Just improvise. Okay, here we go. The moment she gives me the signal. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. <laughs> Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why? Why would Edwards trust you? Please, 
It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. <laughs> no, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. Mm. By the way, Good you're cover. right about one thing. Here we go. Yeah, I'm all ears. Oh, now. Drop, drop you, drop, drop. No, you don't. Come here. What are you doing, you asshole? Do the skin and sooner. It's done. Your instincts were dead. Uh, I will be constant. Uh, and I will make it my uh, mission to tear down Providence brick uh, by brick. Uh, uh, Starting with you. Done. Well done, 47. Oh, he's twitching. Get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. All right, I'll try, but... When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. <laughs> Will do. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, Corvo, you're getting in the box. We'll just drop him in the bathroom. They'll say he died like Elvis. <laughs> there we go. Just drop him there. Yeah, so I can technically just walk down to that garden, get changed in my outfit, and I can go have a, a little dance with Diana. I'm guessing that's why she told me to dress appropriately. I'm guessing she wants to have a nice little victory dance. This is a good map. I like this map. It's fun. And it was actually kind of like intuitive, which is what I enjoy about maps. Like it, it makes sense. Some maps are a little convoluted. This one was really simple, but you know, fun. A lot of access points. Diana. This is very James Bond, now the dance at the end. Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards, you know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. Necessary evil. Alright, I guess we find out now. Is she on our side? I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yep. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's mm. yours? Turning you I over. You know. Damn. We can take him. Come on, we can take him. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? All the touch. The ground's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. Yeah, so I knew there was a reason she touched his, his hand. Mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. I knew it. it was the I knew that had something to do with it. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I was going to say, I, I don't did. think you had a choice in it. Providence used you, but... I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye. What, turning me Agent. over? You bitch! <laughs> Diana, after everything we've been through! Oh, my God! Ah! No! Whoa! This is so epic! <laughs>
But ooh, we're lucky to be alive right now. No roll cage or nothing. Oh, that's not good. 